What's up everybody, welcome to the FOMO Factory. Sorry, I couldn't set up my green screen today for some reason, so I'm gonna do it like this. But I want to take you through the charts of Bitcoin because it looks like something very big is going to happen soon. And um, I think I have a feeling which way it is going because crypto Bitcoin is going to break out big time. Uh, that's for sure. And which direction? Well, let's take a look at that. So welcome to the FOMO Factory. Subscribe to the channel if you will. Let's get this to 2000 subscribers, man. We we went to a thousand so quick in the meantime check out this portfolio challenge i have on my channel if you want to win a complete crypto portfolio full with good quality gems that we're gonna give away in the bull market when bitcoin hits 100k man that's just simply what it is for now i want to take a look at the chart but also i want to take a look at some unchained data right before but first i want to take a look at the the, the, the chart for bitcoin Right, and what, what do I notice right here? Well, I have to draw it like, if I'm really that autistic, I have to, it, it's okay. So if <laughs> we take a look right here, you see that we are in this downtrend since November. Basically when Bitcoin had its top, that's why we well, topped out and we went down ever since, right? We tried to break it again in March, but we didn't. And we got rejected again since then. We further came down, further, 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 further. Now it is approaching this diagonal line again. Why is this time different? Well, this time is different because we also are hovering on this big, well, around 18,500 support line since June. So that's uh, June, July, uh, August, September. It's now October. It's not the beginning of June, but you know, almost four months, this has been support for us, right? Support. So this, this 18 and a half, is very big support. And we couldn't make this up back in the past uh, when Bitcoin was uh, at this level in 2017. Like, is that, you know, what's the resistance right there? Like nothing. So nobody expected this to be such a big support level. Also here, we didn't have a lot going on, like a little, but that's it. Right. So, um, but as it turns out, big, 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 big support. Now the thing is that um, it, 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 the chances are pretty big that it doesn't just do this, right? This, because usually when Bitcoin uh, breaks, one of these, you know, important trend lines, such a horizontal line or a diagonal line, the move is pretty big, right? So, or we will finally see some positive price action and let's speculate a little bit on where that could go or we break to the downside and we are going to find new lows for this cycle right so let's go uh, look at both scenarios what could happen and i don't know why this line on the rsi looks so completely retarded maybe it made sense on the weekly or something like that yeah makes slightly more sense there whatever so but um this is what's uh, going to happen and uh we don't have a lot of time for this if we take a look at the daily chart again and we look at you know when this might happen i think around two weeks from now at max like the very very last day bitcoin has to make up its mind is the 17th of october all right so if bitcoin is uh then at uh well let's say bitcoin stays where it is right now then we have up till 11th of october right um if it goes up we have less time of course and if it goes down we have slightly more time and it could be that one of these days this happens or this right well, i hope this but you know you don't know so um but this is what i you know what i've been preaching out for a long time i think this is going to be a very big move and don't expect something like this right i i say big move but don't expect something like this uh for example breaks to the upside and a blah that's probably not what's going to happen what likelier is to happen that for example if it breaks to the upside that something like this happens right breaks to the upside if we close there on the daily, then it's getting interesting. Then we probably do a retest. That's where I will buy. That's where I will buy because you don't want uh, something like this. You go break be uh, break be break above. <laughs> Sorry, you feel like okay, let's go all in, 
and then it turns out to be a fake out and we go to the downside <laughs> right you always want to check out like by the re usually the actual retest right now um what things could indicate that bitcoin will go to the upside and what could indicate that bitcoin will go to the downside well let's take a look at what we can find right now so if we take a look at um <laughs> bitcoin on the weekly i see that the stochastic rsi is still in well around the overbought territory right so that at a certain point has to come down right and it could be that we do this for a long time we even go here right and in the meantime this happens that that's definitely possible but eventually this will go down right and that eventually will lead to a massive drop like a really really massive drop and not to scare you guys the last two times that happened um, it only occurred two times ever in the last year and the last uh, two times this happened was when we went uh, from the top of the stochastic RSI so that was that was the here that was the top of Bitcoin to the low um, that was a 51% drop and the time before that happened we had the top of the stochastic RSI here so also that was this top right here right that fake out right there until the low right here that was a 63% move. So that's on average kind of you know, around 55% move to the downside, right? And um, every, every single time before, like when we were that overbought, uh, Bitcoin went down quite a lot. And sometimes it doesn't look like a lot, but here as well, we went overbought and we went to the oversold territory. And uh, here it was already a drop of 30%. So yeah, th this could mean that we will see a big drop and it will match up with the fact that if we break to the downside, right? Because if we break to the downside and um, let's say that this right here was the top right so let's take it from uh, here and we go down uh, for example fuck 40 50 percent it will lead us to twelve thousand dollars it's what a lot of people are calling for right twelve thousand dollars 10k not gonna happen in my opinion i don't see that happen the chart at least is saying that there's too much support in between and like i said um this wasn't support at as first as well right we just created that support so you know i i i think there's a lot in between but if we really see some bad price movement to the downside i think the first level will be around 16 and a half and i think that will be very hard to break if we however break that then i think the next next one will be around 14 13 and a half 14 and the next one will be a very strong support at around 12k and 10k yeah it's also very strong support of course but we first have to break uh, other levels uh, if that happens but on the other hand the stochastic car side could also do something like this right um it will reset at a certain point it won't it never stays up uh, like that but what happened here is we went up for example also we went up right so this happened sorry for that this happened we went up we reset a little bit we went up and then we went down right but when we were down here we were never that low as that where we down here right because we came from well fake outs included twenty nine thousand dollars and here we made a fake out low of thirty two thousand dollars so it could be that this happens that's so hard you can predict this <laughs> i wish it was true of course but you cannot predict anything right but uh it could be that we do something like this that the stochastic car side hovers around a little bit and then goes down but what bitcoin does in the meantime when it's hovering around first goes to the upside and when this goes down we go to the downside as well but we bottom out for example here right and then we will move up further so it doesn't have to mean we are making a new low right um i'm not saying what what's going to happen i don't know i have no idea i wish i knew man a lot of people say like oh new lows are, are like uh, it's inevitable and other people say like oh the bottom is in bro i have no idea why why should i i don't know man nobody knows let nobody tell you that they know because they don't know bro right but like checking out this kind of stuff uh, is making it uh, a little easier for us. What I do notice as well is that look at this volume spike right here. The 26th of September, right? 26th of September. And in the price, nothing really happens. But it means that this support right here is so strong. Every time it comes near the support, 
we have crazy volume we have crazy volume here we have crazy volume you know relatively to what we have here right we have big volume spikes so a lot of volume is now coming in as we are approaching uh this level right here right also when we were here we had lots more volume right there so there are definitely people and wheels you know buying this area right they don't want this to break and they are ready to buy there because it definitely looks like the bottom right um so yeah and we have the pi cycle bottom indicator as well so that's a very nice indicator that we can use for that and of course we have look into bitcoin.com and here are a lot of unchained data and a lot of unchained data says like okay the bottom is in and some some say it's not and yeah we we don't know but we can take a look like for example the rainbow uh price chart rainbow indicator bitcoin stuff you know um this doesn't uh indicates that the bottom is in or not but it gives a little perspective right like um every time we are in this blue area look it's the fire sale right so you should buy there definitely you should buy there in the red it's the maximum bubble territory like this is going to pop and uh we should sell as soon as possible right we are in here quite a while so whether we are you know at the bottom or not if you are not buying here because you think it might go here, right? Which never happened before. Be my guest, be my guest. Look, maybe, maybe you're right if you think that. And in that case, you make the most out of your investment. But the odds are very much against you. And if you are wrong and not buying uh, because of that, then you're missing out. Because then you probably buy when you really feel like, oh shit, it's going up. 40k, 50k, 60k, you know, then you are going to buy. And that's where people got wrecked last November. So I feel like, man, I buy here, <laughs> right? And if it goes lower, I don't care. I'm, they see, I'm, I'm dollar costing, so also buying there. It's no problem for me. It's no problem. Look at the perspective, bro. This is just a perspective chart. Buy here and you will make money. Every time around or at the blue, if you bought there, you made insane gains. If you bought there, you made insane gains. And like here, eight, five, eight, ten dollars, you made insane gains to you know more than a thousand dollars here again you bought at around two hundred dollars maybe even around seven hundred dollars doesn't matter we went to twenty thousand dollars again here covid crash if you bought around uh here was covid crash let me take a look which year is that uh this is the 2018 bear market sorry covid crash was here if you bought there you bought for around uh, three thousand dollars you wrote it all up to almost seventy thousand dollars now in a couple of years people will tell you the same stuff right Whoa! remember the recession in 2022 if you bought then damn you would have made oh uh. like bro come on man therefore i'm saying if you watch this you are going to make it because you are at least interested in crypto and not giving up like a lot of people and come back later when it's basically already too late right so this chart doesn't really say anything it just puts something in perspective and I really like that. Um, we have the Bit Bitcoin investor two year uh, moving average multiplier. Sorry, I'm very tired today. Um, but this also basically every time we are under the two year moving average, it's a great buying opportunity. The two year moving average is the green line. And um, yeah, it's just looking very fantastic. We have also the two year moving average multiplied by five. That's the red line. And we went a couple of times uh, above that. That, and that's really the time where you should have sold right unless you're a real long-term trader like here you should have sold because here the price look the price of bitcoin was uh, 27 dollars should you sell bitcoin at 27 dollars fuck yeah if you knew that after that bitcoin went all the way to two dollars again <laughs> right that that's uh yeah that would have made you so rich but every time above that you should have sold now we are under this green line again and we are under this green line for quite a while since may already so may june july august september october for five months now right um we went below this line here from october up till december so that's just two months we went below it here here for a long period by the way december 2000, 2014 up till uh, december 2015 so a year right so it's possible that we stay another six months in there right and uh we went below it here and this was november 2017 till may so november uh december january february march april may six months right so i think we are sitting at the pretty average right now with our uh five months right also 
a very good time to buy could it get lower yes but what if not i don't want to miss out that's basically all i'm saying right um yeah you have the pie cycle top indicator that shows you when the top is likely in when these lines cross well we also have the pie cycle bottom indicator and that's now basically in um what else what else do we have the bitcoin lachmaritic growth curves yeah this is basically um also very interesting because this is the first time but this is like is this all is this always accurate or should this be uh, adjusted every every now and then um i wonder but you know the the oscillator is sitting very low and you have to realize that every time and that, that's what i mean right here right it's sitting so extremely low at 0 0.03 okay so that's kind of interesting that it's sitting so low right now because um let me what did i just do man let me go back to the chart sorry for that because every time that uh chart was sitting that low we were pretty much at the bottom as well um if we take a look at the 2016 17 18 run right we were also sitting uh well 0 0 0.2 0 0.1 0 0.3 also very low what the fuck am i doing with this chart man i'm really messing this shit up right here but if you look at where bitcoin was back then so there was this period was also the bear market right so every time it is that low it is a good time to buy and now you can of course on this website also check out what the whales are, do are doing right so these are the bitcoin wallets with more than a thousand bitcoin then you are considered a bitcoin whale and the wallets um is the orange line and the blue line is the bitcoin price right what are the whales doing lately well um october november 21 whales were stacking up right so whales were really prepping well <laughs> a lot of whales got wrecked as well because the whales really started selling off in feb march april that's where may that's where whales started selling and now lately since june basically whales are really not doing anything they're just waiting and i feel like okay cool i feel like we're doing the same right here right these whales are cautious right we had a nice spike in here like a lot more addresses certainly but um yeah it's just yeah okay it's basically in the same area around here i feel like the whales are doing the same right I think they know a big move is coming, but I also do, uh, know, uh, think that the whales don't know which direction it's going to go, right? And therefore, just waiting to make a move. Um, it's like I said, <laughs> training is hunting, investing is hunting. You have to wait for the right time because you can't miss, man. You only get one shot, one opportunity. So in that case, I feel like, yeah, let's wait together with these whales. Which way is it going to go? I have no idea. What I also find very interesting is the USDT dominance. If you look at the USDT dominance, this shows how much cash or how much, you know, how much money uh, percent sorry is sitting in dollars in usdt i'm not talking about usdc or other stable coins but look at this people still have a lot of usdt right like really a lot it went from november to where we are right now from um two two and a half percent to seven and a half percent so it tripled right tripled as much people or at least tripled as much usdt is sitting in triple as much money is sitting in usdt let me put it like that right but these people are not out of the market it's not cashed out to their account or whatever or they gave up no they are waiting with their usdt on the sideline looks like they are ready to deploy and i cannot wait guys for this because that means bitcoin up so um i think people are preparing also this looks like people are preparing everybody is preparing for that big move that's about to come so yeah i'm very curious what it's going to be if we take a look at the total three this is um the markets minus bitcoin and ethereum yeah also looking very interesting um it's sitting at strong strong support or it, it, it created strong support let me put it like that um because we topped out here in 2018 and um 
we made that support as well. Like we made, eh, let me do it a little better than this here, ah, or something like that, right? So this is support. So these are just altcoins, okay? So also I'm very curious to see what's going to happen right here. Uh, Stochastic RSI pretty high, but it's already coming back down. So I like to see that because I want this to reset to be here. Um, and I hope the price is still somewhere around here then. And then it looks like it's, uh, you know, for general altcoins, it is time to buy. I'm not going to buy right now. Again, also with this one, the last time uh, it came down uh, that hard, you know, the stochastic RSI, it, 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 it really came down pretty, pretty, pretty hard, right? Um, it was here in April 2020. Look, it wasn't even actually at the top of, you know, wasn't even overbought like we are right now. But still, we went down and we went down hard, right? We went down on altcoins 60%. Like, and that's like really wrecking, right? Like, so you, may, you may feel like, okay, my altcoin is down 60%. Yeah, that's a lot, but is it that terrible? Oh, well, yeah, but you know. Um, this is uh, an average, right? This is a total. So um, if Solana, if AVAX, if the big altcoins, they maybe come down 30%, but your risky assets may come down 95%, right? Then uh, the time before that, we were also very oversold when we were at the top right here, from where we went to the bottom, we went down another 50%. So yeah, 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 I don't know. I hope it's going down slow but steady and that the price tries to uh, maintain right there because if not, there's not a lot right here, bro. I can tell you already. There's maybe something at 350 billion, but to be completely honest, I can see it going all the way down until around 200, 180 billion, something like that. That's half of where we are right now. That's another 50% drop. Again, that could be terrible for your altcoins if you're in the riskier stuff. Could also be a fucking great opportunity though, if you are prepared. So therefore keep following the channel and make sure we prepare in this bear market, guys. I will be here every fucking day. I will be here every day. We're gonna make it. This happened so many times before, right? So yeah, it's all good. It's looking all good. We just don't know what's going to happen in very short term, right? But in the long term, I can already tell you what happens because, uh, and don't take this as financial advice, but look at the Bitcoin monthly chart and tell me that this isn't the most bullish thing you have ever seen. Let's go to this one. Takes it a little further back all right uh, yeah let me save this but look at this stochastic rsi completely flat completely you know no no pulsing and no pulse anymore the only two times that happened was here in 2015 like uh well 2014 up till 2015 and look what happened from the bottom to the top of the stochastic right we were around 200 dollars and at the top of the stochastic RSI, you know, it depends on when you sell. Like this was the top and uh, that was 400. Congratulations. But this was also the top and this was 20K, right? So we went up 100X, right? When we were this low. When we were this low, right? We were sitting at $3,000. We went to $70,000. We went up 20X, right? So 100X and a 20X also happens to be an average of 60X, but so that's a 60X as well. Like every cycle, uh, the 60X right here is that every cycle from the bottom to the top of the next bull market is a 60X. But like I said, this also happens to be a 60X move, right? And we are at the same stuff again. So I won't be surprised if Bitcoin really does make a big move right so um yeah i don't have much more to say just wanted to show you this going to get very interesting so um definitely i don't I, I won't choose to be completely out of the market i don't completely choose to be in the market as well because if we see that final wake off i want to get prepared and get my altcoins maybe another 50 percent cheaper so i cannot do a 20 but a 40x in the next bull run and that's going to change lives guys so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel like the video if you like the video if you have an opinion about this leave a comment i'm very curious to what you think and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye, -bye.